Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajnikan. In today's video, we're gonna see how to migrate your application from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5, or or else how you can freshly write JUnit test cases for JUnit 5, right? So as in earlier video, I said from Spring Boot 2.2 onwards. It, it is using JUnit 5, right? So there is no JUnit 4 support. So in this video, we'll see how to write JUnit test cases in JUnit 5 or how we'll migrate your JUnit 4 applications to JUnit 5, right? So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications, right? So let's quickly start. So let me open paint box. So what are the differences are there in JUnit 4 and 5 first we'll list it down. Right so here we go. So here we go, here we go. JUnit 4 and JUnit 5 will list out what the differences are there. So the annotation at the rate before is not yet supported. It's completely removed from sorry in JUnit 5. Then at the rate after at the red B E F O R E before class at the red A F T A after class then at the red sorry at the red run with then So these annotations are completely at the rate ignore, sorry. At the rate ignore. Right. So earlier in JUnit 4, these are the annotations. So those annotations, it's got completely removed. Right. So personally, I think it's bad because I mean, suppose you are developing in JUnit 5 and you are, uh, sorry, JUnit 4 and you are upgrading to JUnit 5 means no backward compatibility everything gone right again you need to freshly rewrite things so what are the let me uh, show you here what are the equivalent things so here equivalent before is before each e s e h and after equivalent is after each after each before classes before all after classes after all extend with and at the rate ignore is replaced with at the rate disable so if you are migrating from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5, then you need to replace these annotations with this JUnit 5 annotations, otherwise it will not work. And if you are uh, developing a fresh JUnit with JUnit 5 means, instead of this annotation at the red before, at the red after and those stuffs, you will develop with these annotations, right? So already I have an application, those things are already written in JUnit 4, so let's migrate it to uh, JUnit 5 and we'll 
solve those problems right or you can see how in how you'll write in JUnit 5 so let me go to this one so this is an application let me close everything so let me show you how what is this application this is a, a sample endpoint user controller is there here I'm auto adding uh, this user service and in this get mapping I'm calling this uh, user service some get user ID by name service class is there here I'm auto adding user DAO and I'm calling some DAO method get user ID by name and DAO this is that method and from here I'm returning some dummy strings right so this is all about this application and if you go to here POM you can see that uh, Spring Boot version 2.1.15 right so from that Spring Boot version 2.2 onwards it will use JUnit 5 version right so it's a uh, old version so let me let us uh, upgrade it to Spring Boot 2.3.1.15 we are upgrading this version so before upgrading let me show you what is that uh, my own dependencies are here so you can see where is junit 4.12 right before upgrading into 2.3.1 version it was junit 4.12 version right so let me save this form then it will reflect here yes everything gone everything done successfully so let me do a Maven update. Where is Maven? Yes, done. So here you can see those unit tests before class, before, after class, nothing is coming, right? So we need to change those stuffs, right? So let's and let's go to maven dependencies you can see here we are using junit jupiter uh, junit jupiter engine 5.6.2 and it's junit 5 right so let's uh, go each of one class and we'll solve those things let me close all those stuffs right so let's go to for simple one so here control shift O. So test one is already cleared. So asset equals control shift O. Let's remove this package. And these annotations are not there, right? So let's remove this entire thing. Sorry. Asset equals. Okay, here uh, done one. Then I said that before class is not there, the equivalent is before each. So here before e s e h control c o. It's done. Before before each. So is that uh, control that wait? Sorry, it's before class, right? So before class means before all. Before all, control shift O. It's done. Before each, before each, E S E H, control shift O. Resolve. After class is after all. Resolve after each after each yes everything got resolved right so before each before each after means after each before class after all after class after all sorry before class before all after class after all run with 
extend with ignore disable right so we have done so let's uh, run this test case something went wrong actually earlier it was uh, running by z unit 4 right that's why it was showing error i have solved run now c unit test it's working perfectly right it's running so now let's move to another one so this one will go so at the red test control shift o it will solve so control shift o means it will import the uh, import statement asset equals imported so let's run with is not there so this run with annotation is replaced by extend with so let me remove this one at the right e x t e and d extend with and here you need to pass this configuration class right spring extension dot class sorry n s i n dot c l a s s then import this class yeah done and rest of the things not required because because we are not using any before after so everything will work fine let me run this one so again in path it's showing it's running in j unit 5 earlier it was j unit 4 right so we have it's got success uh, let me move to next one so the, uh, the same thing first this test will resolve it's resolved let's import this one it's resolved run with is not there so at the rate e x t e and d extend with then we need to pass this class right spring extension dot class dot class yep we have done so here are the everything auto add mock bean let's run this one again it will, will show something right it was running earlier it was uh, we have run in j unit 4 right so so it's asking that we are running in j unit 5 If you're writing freshly means it will not it will not come this error because uh, earlier I have run in, in J unit 4 right that's why it's coming this is working fine let me move to the next one here yeah, run with okay run with will is not there so let me re remove this one at the red the XTE and the extend with spring extension dot class everything got reserved so this one will import let me save this one let's run this one again it will front okay so here it's working perfectly right so this is all about migrating from j unit 4 to j unit 5 right so this inject mock at the red box and all these annotations i have explained my earlier videos if you don't know you can refer uh, refer my earlier videos so this is the entire thing how we can migrate from j unit 4 to j unit 5 right so if this video is helpful for you 
please do subscribe my channel and like and share this video thank you